You like it? Look at this car, this is state-of-the-art, top-notch expression of e-mobility, both technology-wise and design-wise. This is another Audi that will truly make you have fun, happy and proud to drive. And when it comes to talking about design, there's nobody better than our chief designer, Mark Lichter, who can explain the car. Mark, where are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, today the technological heart of an Audi is the engine. And with the position in the front, this engine dictates the architecture of a car. With the Audi e-tron, this will change because the new technological heart is a battery pack which is located in the floor of the car. And this describes the main character of this car. That's why we came up with the idea to split the design of this car in two layers. A bottom layer, which emphasizes the score of the power and the center of gravity. It's very visible, it's a very exciting and uh, expressive design rocker. And in contrast, the second layer, the upper layer, which is super sleek and light. And this creates a really unique and new character for an Audi. And if you talk about the front, this front gives you still a very familiar look. But related to the new technology in the drivetrain, the single frame, we came up with the idea that the single frame is not a radiator anymore because there is no engine behind. That's why we came up with the idea, what about we invert the single frame by color to create a new look, but still a very familiar face for an Audi really new for Audi. And um, if you talk about, so face is very new face. Um, the second thing is I'd like to talk about is efficiency. You know, for an aerodynamic, for an, an, a battery electric vehicle, aerodynamic is very important. And I'd like to tell you a story. This car is best in class in aerodynamic. And there's a very clear, simple reason. Uh, almost four years ago, when we start designing the Audi e-tron, um, we had a first sketch presentation, and I chose the four best proposals. And I told the designers, I brought them to the wind tunnel, and I told them the proposal, the model with the best aerodynamics will go to production. That's the result, best in class. And aerodynamics is important because it will extend or extend the range. But there's something even more important. Imagine that there is no noise anymore from the engine, that's why you're very sensitive to hear all the wind noises. Because of this aerodynamic, it's even up to high speed levels, almost quiet. It's a complete new driving experience. You have to try this. Um, another very important thing is, there's one detail I'd like to mention. It's my favorite detail. And these are the virtual mirrors. And these virtual mirrors, they improve not only the aerodynamic, they improve the aesthetic, and even the function. And this is, you know, where Audi design stands for. Technology in perfect harmony with design and with aesthetic. And that's why I really like this detail. And I'm really proud how we integrate the rear view screens in the architecture of the interior. You know, we saw this detail, virtual mirrors, on many show cars already. That's the first, show car, the first car which goes in production with this. And always difficult to integrate these displays. We did it in a perfect way. Aesthetic and function-wise, I think that's benchmark. And if you talk about the interior, the interior is like the upper exterior layer. It's very light, very sleek, it's very um, aesthetic, it's floating elements with freestanding displays. Um, the layout is drive oriented it's minimalistic, very functional. And I would say that the whole interior is an orchestration of shape, of materials, of light and sound. And that's why it's getting almost a very holistic design experience. And that's why I just call it, it's a smart space. And that's why I say, for me, that's e-tron. Ladies and gentlemen, for us designers, um, the US market is very important. 
um, especially California. That's why we came up with the idea that we will have, or we have, a design studio in the U.S. located in Malibu, um, California. It's called Audi Design Loft, and this shows how important for us the U.S. market is. But there's somebody here who can explain to you a lot better than me how important the U.S. market is for us. It's a pleasure for me to introduce my colleague and friend Scott Kio, President Out of America. Scott. Scott, awesome. stage is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, phenomenal job, Mark. Phenomenal. Wow, this group grew. Pretty cool. Let's see how it went together. And uh, look, a warm greeting from my side. Worldwide tonight is, of course, a celebration of our first electric vehicle. And for here in America, it's the beginning of a new chapter in a story that really began 50 years ago. In 1969, America, of course, put the first man on the moon, and Audi put a different kind of spaceship on our roads for the very first time. From Seattle down to Texas, Salt Lake City, all the way to Tyson's Corner, our first dealers, many of whom are here in the audience tonight, introduced Audi to customers across the country. And for me, on Long Island, New York, my father was actually one of those first customers behind the wheel of a 100 LS and ahead of a curve that would ultimately lead us to this very powerful moment. The rise of the Audi brand in America started strong, gained momentum in those early years, but success clearly was far from certain. So we injected a portfolio with products that proved right for the times. We invested in the brand in big ways, elevating the R8 supercar to superhero status. And in turn, dealers invested in their facilities in the very communities they, in fact, call home. The result, frankly, is an epic growth story that rewrote the rule of three to include now four very recognizable rings. Today, Audi owners give us top marks for customer satisfaction. Consumer Reports consistently recognizes us as a leader in quality, and that is why we continue to break sales records. But tonight, frankly, isn't about our setting records. It's about setting the standard for premium electrification. And with the e-tron, Audi has unquestionably accepted that powerful challenge. We had the privilege to collaborate with our colleagues in Ingolstadt to help design an electric vehicle that would meet the demands of the American market and prove once again right for the times. And since Audi literally means to listen, they did. 250 test vehicles traversed four continents, from sub-zero temperatures to over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, to prove the e-tron is engineered for everyday convenience at the first mile and for year-round adventures everywhere else. In Europe, the results are in. The new and rather strict WLTP numbers give the e-tron a range of well over 400 kilometers. Stateside, while waiting for official EPA certification, we decided to see just how far our adventure might take us. Not to make any claims, but to at least indulge our curiosities. On September 6th, we drove an e-tron prototype from sea level here at Craneway to South Lake Tahoe, across 175 miles on just one full charge, arriving with 12 miles of estimated battery life left, a very respectable feat given that 7,000-foot climb. Over a leisurely lunch, we let the e-tron fully recharge, and then with the AC cranked, the radio blasting, two technical wizards at the helm, the e-tron made the 175-mile journey back to this very spot, but this time it arrived with an estimated 94 miles of range remaining. Now, the difference between those two trips can be explained by the most efficient battery recuperation system to date that clearly optimized performance on the descent from the Sierras back to sea level. In fact, our engineers estimate this system can be responsible for as much as 30% of the e-tron's range, depending on the terrain and braking. As you know, actual range will vary based on weather, road conditions, vehicle conditions, or even driving style. And a lot goes in to determining EPA range and MPG estimates, which I, of course, will leave to the experts. But we are quite pleased with the results of our unofficial Tahoe test. And you can rest assured we'll share the official EPA numbers as soon as they are available. Now, optimized recuperation is the type of smart thinking that ensured our engineers could deliver a true and proper SUV with room comfortably to seat five 
and available max towing capacity to pull up to 4,000 pounds. Now, it's also important to note our testing took us from 50 degrees in the bay to over 90 in El Dorado National Forest, yet e-tron kept its cool. EVs have historically struggled to maintain a proper operating temperature during repeated acceleration or at sustained speeds. So what did Audi engineers do? They inserted a cooling lance through the center of our electric motor to maintain a very reliable temperature. In addition, the cooling system for the 36 cell modules of the battery is located outside and beneath the cell chamber so that in a collision, fluid drains safely below the cells. Of course, Audi owners don't want to compromise performance for safety. They expect it all from the four rings. For almost half a century, these expectations have been exceeded with one very simple word, quattro. And e-tron will continue that powerful tradition with our first electric all-wheel drive system. An electric motor located on each axle distributes power in fractions of a second to create nearly instant torque for control in almost any condition. This unique Quattro system actually performs with the same driving dynamics of some of the sportiest Audi models on the road today. In boost mode, that means acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, in almost complete silence, by the way. Now, it may sound different, it may feel different, but rest assured, your 100% electric driving experience will be 100% Audi. Now, before electric can truly go Audi, Electric had to go everywhere, every day. And that's precisely what Electric has done, thanks to a few of our critical partners. The arrival of the e-tron is timed perfectly, with a 10-year, $2 billion investment being made in this country's charging infrastructure by Electrify America. By July of 2019, Electrify America will have nearly 500 fast-charging sites complete are under development throughout 40 states and 17 top metro markets. Here in California, that includes 160 ultra-fast charging sites with 40 in the Bay Area alone. Over 2,000 chargers will be located no more than 120 miles apart on highways across this vast country, providing up to 150 kilowatts to charge the e-tron's 95 kilowatt hour battery as much as 80 percent in roughly 30 minutes. And so tonight, I'm excited to announce a nationwide Audi charging plan powered by Electrify America. All U.S. Audi e-tron owners will receive 1,000 kilowatt hours of charging at Electrify America sites over four years of ownership. And since the map that only illustrated the first round of Electrify's investment, their range confidence will only continue to increase on the open road in the years ahead. Now, what about charging your e-tron at home? Well, frankly, we've made that as easy as shopping on Amazon, literally. I am equally excited to announce for the U.S. Audi Home Charging, powered by Amazon Home Services. Their first collaboration with an automaker to deliver turnkey in-home charging. This premium approach to home charging includes transparent upfront pricing, installation by vetted and qualified electricians, backed, of course, by Amazon's happiness guarantee. Of course, the experience wouldn't be complete until we've heard from Alexa. Starting with the Audi e-tron and available globally, Alexa will be along for the ride to help simplify your life through your Audi Data Connect plan, linking your life outside e-tron to the moments spent inside. Alexa, are you ready? Scott, I'm ready when you are. Very cool. So there you have it. Electric is going everywhere, every day with the Audi e-tron. Now, there are two other questions I'm sure many of you would want to ask Alexa, and that is simply, how much and when can I get one? The e-tron will begin arriving at American dealerships in the second quarter of 2019, taking its place in our stunning portfolio at the right size and the right price to strike at the heart of the premium SUV market in a fastest-growing segment. Ladies and gentlemen, in the United States, our first fully electric vehicle will start at an MSRP of $74,800 before any federal tax credits. And as you can see here, extremely well equipped. Some of you may have noticed a few interesting details on the e-tron I arrived in, from the Daytona gray finish to those orange brake calibers. Well, meet the Edition 1, 
a special design for the first 999 e-trons built for America. Extremely, extremely cool car. So, when can you get one? Well, over the last 48 hours, we gave loyal Audi owners and hand raisers an early opportunity to reserve an e-tron. I'm happy to say some of the first reservations belong to the absolute best of the tech and business communities. In fact, many of them are here in the crowd tonight. Now, though, it's your turn. I am thrilled to announce the reservation system for the e-tron is now officially open at AudiUSA.com and Audi dealerships across the country. Speaking of, we are, of course, just up the road from Silicon Valley. And we often hear it's only places like this that innovation happens, or that you have to be lean and nimble to truly start a revolution. Well, we agree, sort of. For 50 years, our now 302 dealer partners have been the heart and soul of Audi in America. Local businesses lean and nimble enough to innovate as new products and technologies arrived. There, when customers needed them to ease the transition into whatever brave new world we at Audi were entering. And I thank each and every one of them and their employees, including more than 3,500 trained Cervic technicians who will remain our competitive advantage as we enter a future where electric has full stop gone Audi. Together, together, we are absolutely ready because every e-tron rolling off the line at our stunning plant in Brussels is proof that that future is now. And when Audi has delivered on its promise of premium electric leadership, it will be proof that tonight, in fact, was only the very beginning. Thank you very, very much.